politics, we are different, but pursuing the same goal to create a better life for all our people. And therefore, as this leadership in front here, from all our diverse parties, we agreed to call on Bishop Mpuluani, Mpuluani of the Ethiopian Church of South Africa and President of the Southern African Interfaith Council site to open these proceedings by prayer. Bishop Mpuluani. Ekamene <laughs> Siza ngekresha chikuwetu imkombe sikuwele kuo unchitu wanga maza oluandre. Siza kuwe chikuwetu abantu bapelero litema. Siza ufukela ke chikuwetu situ monga mei. Aukatali na nishabalala nje. Chikuwetu zinto zionagali. Sitponile chikuwetu na matema ye chobo 1994. Sati ilizu le tutu permission and the permission of the leadership of all political parties here present, I want to introduce uh, the members, honorable members of parliament that are in front here. 
and uh, we are saying today we are less honorable, we are most honorable because you made us what we are as honorable members of uh, parliament. Uh, I am Dr. Matole Muteha, I'm the chairperson of the ad hoc committee on the amendment of section 25 of the constitution and uh, I will start on it. Uh, I will uh, just call the names. When I call the names, the uh, persons that I call will just wave. Uh, Maina Lesuma, member of the National Assembly. Lesane Mulesane, my Nalishuma is from the ANC, Mulesane Mulesane from the Economic Freedom Front. Economic. It's, uh, it's in the morning, I have to test your attention. Tandeka Mambabana, NA Democratic Alliance. Uh, Novo Masipa, uh, VA. Werner Horn, VA. The, uh, Honorable Veronica Mente, Deputy Chairperson, National Chairperson of the EFF. Tembi Musane, Nazia Tolson, Tato Matafe, Makosini Obake. My advice, my, my advisor on pronunciation, Makosini Chavari. So you can see how much cooperation we have as members of parliament, and we expect the same of you during this uh, proceeding. Uh, our constitutional democracy is both representative and participatory system. Representative democracy means that you elected councillors to represent you in municipal councils, provincial legislatures, and parliament of the Republic of South Africa. These elected representatives form local, provincial, and national governments which are interconnected, interrelated, and integrated, but form one unitary government of the Republic of South Africa under the leadership of President Cyril Matamela Ramaphosa. But we say to government, uh, we say that government cannot legitimately claim authority unless it is based on the will of the people. We are the, you are the people. The essence of participatory democracy is the will of the people. The will of the people is the essence of people's power. During the fifth parliament, 
we came to you, the people, to ask whether or not it is desirable to amend section 25 of the Constitution to allow expropriation of land without compensation. You mandated us, you are uh, the, the, you were mandated the People's Parliament to go ahead. Parliament established an ad hoc committee for this purpose and mandated it to come back to you, the people, to listen to the views on the constitutional amendment. We came to you because our constitutional democracy, as I said, is both representative and participatory. You, <coughs> you elected the, us to represent you, not because we have the monopoly of wisdom. You elected us because not all of us can be in parliament. So we uh, on a serious matter like amendment of section 25 of the constitution we with our wisdom we are not adequate to the task and that's why we have come to you to say please let's tap into our wisdom so that uh, the amendment that will bring about briefly reflect the will of you, the people. And that's why we are here today. And uh, we think that uh, that amendment is very important because as this leadership here in front and you are still self-know, our people are suffering from the triple challenge of poverty, unemployment, and inequality. It is these uh, challenges that have led to the, degenerate, to the deepening moral degeneracy and social ills such as femicide, gender-based violence, drug and alcohol abuse. We believe that uh, the return of the people to all our people of the land, to all our people, black and white, will help us to address these challenges and free the full potential of all South Africans so that uh, we can contribute to the building of a better South Africa and a better Africa. And the founders of our democracy were spiritual people. And that's why I want to in particular thank the leadership of all political parties for having allowed Bishop Johnson the Poor to open his proceedings by prayer so that we can call upon the Almighty and our ancestors to be with us as we discharge this national responsibility. And uh, I thank you for being here in big numbers. Thank you very much. Now, uh, house rule. guided by the principles of multi-party democracy and fairness. All political parties here, regardless of their size, are equal in importance and they deserve the attention of all of you. And uh, on this side, uh, we will call representatives of the people, public and political parties to sit in the chairs and will do the same on this side. 
after they had spoken, will call the second row. Those that have spoken will go to the back seat so that uh, there is order. But also, we must make sure that the elderly people are given an opportunity to say they are saying because uh, those are the pillars of uh, our nation. I have been instructed by the leadership in front that uh, because uh, we have to take flights to different parts of the country, the proceedings will have to be uh, done by one of them. And we want to appeal to all of you that uh, the purpose here is not to give us the history of anything but to tell us exactly what form or content you want to see in the amen, in the amendment. And uh, we know there may be other challenges. Those challenges we are saying we have uh, parliamentary constituency offices where you will find MPs, MPLs, and uh, councillors. You must take those challenges to those parliamentary constituency offices. They will come to the chief whips of all political parties in the parliament, and if need be, we will disperse, the chief whips will disperse people to come here and to address those challenges. May I then call on uh, those that uh, want to uh, have the first bite on this side and this side to take their seats.
and the state must be the sole custodian of all South Africans and all, all the land of South Africa. Thank you very much. I'm a member of the ANC as well as the ANC University, right here in Watanji, Bangawi. As a member of the ANC, I fully support the amendment of the expropriation of land without compensation for the following reasons. The women by a women seller did not work. Land reforms also did not work for us as there are many cases that are still continuing till today with regards to those who put in their claims. I also request that the following amendments should be made in Section 25.2 AA. Section C should be included in that section and it should be read as follows. Subject to without compensation or real compensation under conditions laid out in the law of general application. As an ANC member, I request that Section 25 should be amended as well. It should read as follows. When it says the amount of compensation, it must be read as follows. Where compensation is applicable. Section 25 as an ANC member, I request that the following should be included. No provision of section including payment of compensation may impede the state from taking any legislation. For this, I support the bill. Extent 
provided by an act of parliament, either to tenor, which is legally secure or to comparable interest. If we are going to move to subsection 7, and then no, no provision of this section may impede the state from taking the respective and other measures to, to achieve land, water, and related reform in order to regress the results of past racial discrimination, provided that any departure from provision of this section is in accordance with provisions of section 26 of section 1. The Act of Parliament. Oh,
America. This land was taken by force to expropriate to take Gonga. So I we must compensate, we must buy. It does not make sense. The contradiction we want our land to be brought back to us peacefully because if uh, this uh, issue of appropriating land takes long, we might lose our pension. Agreed by all of us, uh, 
and I feel we need to your time. God assist us with due respect, all of you. Good uh, evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Don Masadi. I'm speaking on behalf of uh, the paid, uh, the the which is the of the paid norm. Who shall be better of those who will put a little removed from their land possibly? So, so uh, I do uh, agree that the land expropriation the bill should be a uh, 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 mandate to allow for uh, expropriation of land without compensation. Remove all these basic uh, subsections like sub 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 subsection 3 and subsection 7. Uh, Allow the state to be full co custodianship of this land and all their resources like they are already distributing, their resources like water. So um, we are of the view that uh, the parliament is wasting our time because this uh, same session was done last year. It was done uh, by the parliament, the parliament. I don't know what is happening that is taking place now because this, this parliament must directly. Uh, implement what was suggested by uh, the parliament, the parliament. So we want our land because uh, we want to use it for recreational purposes, we want to use it for uh, commercial purposes, we want to use it for residential uh, purposes. We want it also because we want it because it's ours, we want the land because it belongs to us, and we want it because it has all Ours, our ancestors were led out, were brutally removed from their uh, land. So we want that most uh, took uh, uh, land from our ancestors. This is why people must come uh, to the residences, they must get a uh, spot again, land there, they must be removed from the land. We need to know which residential area is there for people to sit and reach. Uh, area is there for business. They must be moved from those small uh, or ideas there in the town there. We want them at uh, the location there like ours. We want to put them there in the top. We are not scared of them. We want to show them that we are as them as they are. They must come to our public schools there. We want to see who will survive the pleasures and the difficulties. We want them to feel what we are feeling every day when it is uh, flooding. We want them to see them. I think you have seen when you are coming like this. I want to show you home. This is ours. This is how we go to uh, work. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Africans. In 1650, 
1652, before 1652, there were people who were moving from abroad, coming through Africa, going to India to get spices. One known gentleman with the name of John, uh, Benjamin de Eben, which now Deben is called on his name. He also came from abroad. Then Ashoma Mukuku Kodefati Laruna. As if it was not enough in 1652, the other man also was traveling the same route with three ships and he came to catch up. And he also he read a shirt and married the African lady. His name is Jan van Rijek. He also supports taking the land away from the rightful owners uh, to own it. They, they did not pay anything. We did not charge them. The seven is a yen to your wound to Uguti Simuge Aba Hami. We were using the concept of Ubuntu to welcome the visit. But they decided to sell it. Today, because of this TV, we are told we must buy our own land. We can't do that. <laughs> Uh, the Lenin Act of 1306 also tells the story. Uh, let's go and visit this, this, this thing. Um, I support, if unnecessary, this so the amendment of the bill, because we want our land.
government must be responsible for all the resources of South Africa so that people can get all the resources equally. Musa we give the government of one thousand, but I was the babat who was such a trick, but no human is what we the more. Government must take responsibility and make sure that all the South Africans get what is due to them. And how about the fight? How about the fight? The box of messages. They don't do nothing. They are on a mind. 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 So that we all need to find ourselves in the same situation we are in right now. You could put this section seven and go to the world. Section seven must be removed as well. Muso ona mo lebe ikara na lang utoka na legislation ba kaya ba bolo section thirty six kilo na kaso wapi na lulo na watisi ite aluluti so hadi government and the responsible legislators must make sure that section thirty six is reviewed as well. Ne parliament ite di muso ba kaya bolo section six kilo na ya kene la mo. They must also make sure that uh, section six is reviewed as well. I as the resident of Ward 46 need to get enough land. The council are not going to see the amount that they are going to do. I don't know what they should have done. I don't know what they should have done. Of the land in, in, in order to share it accordingly 
according to the customs and norms of the people that uh, are under their leadership. Therefore, we still confirm their leadership in the society. The other point I want to raise is that there's an issue of economy and food security when we talk about land. The issue of food security, let me attempt to, to say that there was food on the land before a white man arrives. And even when the animal is removed from the land, there will still be food. But that food that was there before was able to save the entire people that were staying on the land. Now the food is under the leadership of the white men, and there are black people in their leaders who go to bed without food. Now, economy thrives under those con con conditions. It goes up and down and up and down. But it can never be a problem when a black man takes over the land. The land will produce food and food. Food will. And the food will be sufficient for a black man. Therefore, we support the uh, exploration of land without compensation. Thank you.
I joined the prayer that I gave you a small size and then there is enough space where we can fly our Even the size of the churches were very small and our churches were not accommodating to all of us. We are also fighting for the size of the churches.
let me tell you what I'm interested for this opportunity. I'm not your 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 I'm not before we didn't get such opportunities, so we knew that we still have money to handle those people. That is why we are saying thank you for this opportunity. Now we are the upper Dodonia team. I am I am coming here to also make an input. Power of section 25, especially on section 25, paragraph two, referring to paragraph two. What is the support of the amendment? I support that amendment. Yes, I have clause 25 and it is to A and B that the amendment is new speed. I want to also make an amendment on A and B, a subject out of conversation, of near conversation, and a condition laid out in the general application. And so can hear the move across 25 subsection 3. I am also referring to subsection 3 of section 25. Our condition is that we did not imagine the Prunega idea of Adal or Prun to try to find it again. I am saying if a person is supposed to get money, that person must be compensated. God or Roma, the Prunega idea of Adal or Prun to try to find it again. That money must be equal to the work that was supposed to be done. We also have led people who are actually sitting in the land whereby they don't have study deeds. So Ubanga Bana says I beg and they beg land, it is also Gulala Nad. If we are going to put a flag check, it will also affect us severely. So I support the section 25 amendment to expropriation without compensation. I support the section 25, the expropriation without the payment of compensation. My name is Dr. Paul of Paul. My name is Dr. Paul of Paul. I am representing the African American.
David Masuiru, Kimo Ayua Freestyle, Kidula Honamona Manawu. Chairperson, my name is David Masuelu. I'm a resident of Free State. Oh, I'm a resident of Mama Wilson. Chairperson, land reform and land redistribution must happen. In other ways, Kutri Soyamu Wu Kubatu Babatu. Returning of the land to the people must happen. There's no one who's against that, especially me. Empa, Dula Sutulo, Ona Lidin, Tosef, Lokala, Mabin, Ine, Lesko, Aulo, Maemo, Aikono, Mika, Harana, Ine, Afrika. But, Chairperson, there are things that we should uh, take note of, especially the status of our economy. Mabata, I'll tell you, 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 I'll tell you. There are reasons that, um, reasons that make the situation to be where it is. Moha, what is so, police, ya, ona, haia, taka, hau, taka, benina, ya, tseketsa, no, ya, tika, tika, no, ya, no, buka, pa, huki, sezo, ya, no, bu, obata, baba, atu. The current government policy is not clear about the land institution, to the black people. This is this situation that has put us in 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 this conditions after 26 years. How to see what a reclaw twenty-five in it doesn't help to, to try to change the, the situation before we can change what we are currently in now. Policy uncertainty. Haholo kata na iso ya muso o tempu so. Kiona erefiti si te mona morete. Hose tepa ale hama e mo ata ma iso. Kuona rebe ili mona morele ngona te. Kika horo luke la horo re luki seta ma iso ya rola. That's why we have to correct our administration so that the circumstances... So as to improve the conditions of the economy of the country, let's tell the truth, person. There is no substitution for good governance. In other words, we cannot substitute good governance by bringing in corruption and mass pieces, and then we say there's a problem with the constitution. It doesn't work that way. In other words, secular government is fellow some last year. What I'm trying to say, Chairperson, is this? There's been an opportunity to change the situation in South Africa. In Pabapu, so by Kapanya, or Naba Kenya, there is some kind of corruption in Kara Zanis. By the people in governance, not the correct the situation. Let's correct the situation. So that they are going to be able to do this. I'm not against the people who are 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 not against the people who if we don't correct this policy issue, after 25 years, we will be going back to where we are right now. Thank you. 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 To the chairperson, Dr. Matulem Tsepha, and your committee at large from Parliament. My name is Ito Honoro. My name is Ito Honoro. Matasi. Matasi. Uswa Mangaum. From Mangaum. What did you? What did you? Yata Samu Hato Obusan, African National Congress. Andalika. 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 Andalika.
members of the ANC. Uh, Ali, 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 Ali,
So as it is, I've already lost uh, confidence in the government. And I'm wondering, how will uh, the government be the custodian of land going to help us? As they've already had failed us, why should we trust them now? Thank you. 
quarto pari. A quel punto il testo è un po' difficile, è un po' difficile. Ma non è un po' difficile. Un mese no. Quanti te pigli? Hai detto un mese no. Sai che sono un po' anche un po' di arricchire il portale. Quando ci si viene a te, ci 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 viene
We also want to leave clause that have been included as uh, amendments, but that has an element of court. We don't want the court to be an attack on any dispute with respect to land because the court themselves are not yet transformed. Yes. They are not different, they are partisan in this We respect the section 25, subsection 7. I will propose that that section should be deleted. Yes. As it is represented, the African people that the land was taken after 1930. Why in 1930 it was legalization of this possession. Yeah. That's already happened in system. We also need to give the need of the interpretation of food security that a lot of politicians are making noise about in Parliament in our absence, claiming to represent us. To say food security is when every citizen of this country, irrespective of their material condition, have access to nutritious food. In their families, not when the food are in the shops of Shopify, Checkers, Woolies, and others. Yeah. That is not good security. Yeah. That is good security for the elite, not for the people. Yeah. Can we talk about the people's health? Yeah. On the issue of, uh, I'm in a hurry because I'm having yeah. a history. Yeah. On the issue of who should be the beneficiary with respect for land, I hope we are not creating another monster here where the land it will be distributed with respect to the principles of Edmund Farm. Where all parliamentarians who are here today and those who are not here are guiding the process that is going to be their benefits, not the people. I'm raising this because we want the clause to include that says no parliamentarian, irrespective of their position, no senior official, whether it's HOD, or municipal manager or whoever, mayors, speakers, councillors, that should qualify for the ownership of yes. uh, the land. In, in fact, on the issue of land, uh, I would propose that they should not be given the, the access because they are already benefiting economically. It must be about those farm workers that have been excluded from the farms and that have not been given a chance to farm the land. And the students who are studying agricultural science that must be given a chance to own the land, especially about family land.
kama baka kama kali baka kijina for the following reason kiuto akaofeta kabona watu baba ananele ile bali kaofu kushina wa sikini ni mfefe ame idea that those people uh, acknowledge and uh, support the fact that their constitution is going to be amended I When I look at one of the pillars of uh, the EFF, it says exactly the same thing. Let me also remind our people that can see that some of them are forgetful, especially the youth. <laughs> I can also say that uh, Mr. Mandela uh, passed away in headless. Uh, during the past month, we were celebrating uh, Robert Sokoe's day. Robert Sokoe uh, was one of those who were imprisoned uh, in Robert Island without any trial. We say we want our land back because uh, the Boers took our land first. Even you, our leaders, this is what you taught us when we grew up, but today you speak a different language. We appeal to you that when you come here next time, you don't ask us any questions, you just tell us that our land is back to us.
there was a gentleman here talking about the cell phone that they take his cell phone. And that they must go and the aloba. And that gentleman must go and start. Uh, and the gentleman must make uh, some lessons for for the members since they are not equipped. I'm talking as a resident. As a resident, ANC, EFL, we are fighting for one thing, the land. I'm 
Tadi kita sambung dia aman ya. Tadi dia just go in there. Ah, kita tadi cukup apa dah kerja dalam. Mana sekarang tu mesti dah. Mana pun mesti dah beli. Pasti dia beli semua. Tapi. My best is like you want to get your money back. Especially section 25. 
Uh, by planet. The planet. It's about 91%. About 91%. Why? Why is it so? How many animals? 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 How Who's the owner in my town? The governing party of the government. It's really the main thing. We constructed the main things. We are investing with those buildings. They can build many more schools. We are investing with those buildings. They can build many more schools. We are investing with those buildings. They can build many more schools. We are investing with those So, the importance of the 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 I don't know what you're doing. 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 I don't know Our government is 
take a low, but I need two weeks to a hospital. That is why they tell you only two weeks to be in the hospital. Oh, now they got 50 years old, but I need to take a low. Yes. 
The best of 25 years down the line, toilets are there, but there's no water. They built the dam there, but we can't access that water.
before I catch my flight. But uh, we are now living in the way. Yes. Now means the city of the upper way. So today, you have proved that the upper way is the Talan way. The Talan is the name of the business of the play. And I thank you, May. Not aware that this is 
place to be custodian of all South Africa's natural resources, inclusive of land, mineral resources, and water. And relevant legislation should be passed to clearly define and contextualize state custodianship of natural resources. Number four, for the purpose of the, for the purpose of this section, the public interest includes the nation's commitment to land reform and to reforms to bring the about equitable access to all South Africa's natural resources. And property is not limited to land. Uh, by the way, uh, when I uh, chairperson, if white people are so concerned about food security and unity and social cohesion. It must start with how they treat their own farm workers and their families. The eviction of black people from their homes did not end during apartheid. Farm workers' families are to this day evicted the moment their parents die, or children are forced to leave school and become farm workers. Women are forced to be in relationships with other farm workers so that their children have a home. Those farm workers are underpaid and are poor. So before they come here and tell us what this profession of land will do, they must first address the living conditions of their farm workers and their children at this point in time. They must treat black people as fellow human beings and practice this unity and rainbow nation and freedom they preach in their own pastor. I thank you. Chair, the DA supports land reform and restitution. We support land reform and restitution. Chair, there is no, but we believe there is no necessity to amend section 25. As we already provides for land reform and restitution, we believe the slow pace of reform is due to the agency's government competence, corruption, and inadequate budget. Property rights are the cornerstone of an economy and forms part of any citizen's basic human rights. Chair, people should have ownership of property and that title deeds should be given on property. It is inherently unfair to expropriate land and any improvement thereon without any compensation. This can and should be done after due consideration by court and only after the interest of all parties have weighed against each other and where the prevailing circumstances warrant it. This bill seeks to amend section 25 of the Constitution. This is the section on, on property rights, and the bill seeks to diminish property rights by stating that where land and any movements thereon are expropriated for the purposes of land reform, a court may determine that amount of compensation is needed. Further, the bill requires that national legislation must set out specific circumstances where court may determine that the amount of compensation is needed. The ANC and its report are indicated that they want to amend the proposed bill by taking away the court's role in determining the amount of compensation and that it should be left in the hands of the executive. The ANC proposed that the court should only be involved in the review process. And that is unacceptable as it diminishes the constitutional role of the court. And it is in the direct conflict with the essence of the rule of law. The DA strongly opposes the proposal that the executive and the national legislation determine the conditions under which expropriation can be done without compensation. This would allow amendments to be done and the rights to be diminished by a simple majority in the National Assembly. Any such conditions should be strictly specified in the Constitution as it affects a basic human right that requires constitutional protection. Therefore, the DA opposes the need. I thank you. Thank you.
I come from Tabachu. A community member. I'm a community member there. I don't belong to any political party. Mr. Mutu, or the Utuwaka, or the Kamolaha, the House Bill C for this part, saying that the expropriation of land without compensation. I am not. What's the matter? You like this hammer? How do I have it? How do I have it? You go down all the way from Tabachu. Every day, Tabachu coming this way. You see open spaces. All the way up to the new day to the airport. And how do you buy a lot of the money? Whoa! Whoa! Yes, you move, you see scattered houses there and there. And then you ask yourself if our people could be given a piece of land, maybe 50 hectares, and go on a body class, but they might improve on the end of the day because. But why do you want to say that it was a good one? Keep on up, 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 That will change their lives. Uh, having, uh, uh, for an example, Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Kenya after independence. Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Kenya after their independence. Land was redistributed amongst the people. And uh, today, having to pass for Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Kenya, GDP above. They grow about 10% and more. The countries mentioned above their GDP has grown up. Look at South Africa, the richest place in Africa with mineral resources we believe the soil. But oh, now we are the poorest of the poor. GDP ratio on it's less than percent, one percent. So that in itself, it says how they can afford the land and plow for themselves. So that they can use it themselves. Plow for themselves. Go to Kaba on a corner. Lay GDP down on a South Africa. It can grow. And you see that the GDP of our country, South Africa, will grow. Land is a sensitive issue. We had Trump howling somewhere. Donald Trump and State Secretary, State Karagina, what you call Secretary of State, howling somewhere in Ethiopia, telling us that if we expropriate land without compensation, South Africa could not have much harm. So, good people, black people, live on our body, please. We are living like some deeds, karma, vacation. Land expropriation without compensation is the answer. It is the answer. We know it. Don't come here and pretend as if you you are living somewhere in the sky. You don't know now. Don't come here and sing for your suffer. Our people are suffering. So let us expropriate land without compensation. I thank you. I would like to appreciate the leadership of Parliament that is here. How did you come now? Where did you just be given the Holy Ghost? Led by Mayor Veronica Mende. I fully support Section 25. I support the amendment of section 25 with the following reasons. Because most people have already spoken, I 
select where and then. And you go back to one of the remote subsection seven. Uh, no provision of this section may prevent the state from taking restricting and other measures to achieve land, water, and related form in order to address the results of past research discrimination, provided that any departure from the promise of the section is in accordance with the promise of section 36 of work. Uh, a parameter must be yet to the legislative federal to obtain subsection 6. Our, I would like to remind our people in short as about where we are coming from. When he came, decided to, to release Mandela from the prison. It wasn't of his own will, but there was pressure on him. I think it's the second time this we are discussing this issue here. I would like to question our parliamentarians that we are slowly using. Patience. Uh, we are not the only ones who are not able to do it. We 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 need a higher level of innovation and a better understanding of our country's specific needs and demands. If we are allowed, we will be dying. We are not afraid of dying. We are following what we go and through. Uh, we just have to move forward. The higher level of innovation and a better performance of our country's needs and demands. What makes us is that even when we are supposed to do our traditional rituals as black people. How is it that we are not allowed to do the most amino acid movement? How are we going to tell them to go back to the original one? When you want to perform the ritual in your given house, you are told to go and ask for permission to do that. Kita umur ini kebawaan atau kofer yang dimana itu bukan hari kita tak asyik tak asyik. Semua orang kami dulu begini mula kebawaan untuk berbincang dengan orang. Kita belas bahagian mula kita perform dengan orang orang. Aku hari ini tak tunggu lagi. That's why I'm saying we are slowly losing patience because when we go there on the farm to perform our rituals, we must drag a white person, but I don't know why we do this because that is our forefathers' name. Eh, kita perlu lama rau baru kita bagai sedikit diumpan untuk bersama dengan orang Batam. Fasi itu bagi kita orang yang hafal. But I would like to end by saying this. 
Sanatani sa Kumaw. Sanatani sa Kamulay Amada. Subsection 3. Ibewa ka sa kailan na lang. The state should be custodian of all South African national resources, inclusive of land, mineral resources, and water, and relevant legislation should be passed to clearly define and constitutionalize state custodian of national resources. Come on to Anale Ama, Mutamesu Amiteri. Aquí lo vamos a querer y lo que va. Este es el salir de que habrá un poco. Le pasa la voz, la voz, una vez que vamos a tratar con una vez más para abajo. O va a decir que la voz, una vez más para abajo, si se va a tratar con una vez más para abajo. Por el cual vamos a mostrar a nosotros. 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 Que cada uno de los que nos damos en el espacio, en el espacio a base, que nos damos a mano de los que nos damos. Me da un chiste, va a un chiste, que va a ser la pasta para mí. Que va a ser la pasta para mí, que va a ser la pasta para mí. Never be a creator. We are here to make it. 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 Come to the mic. Come to the mic. I stand here as not just a community member, but a graduate that wants to change South Africa. First of all, I want to support the amendment of Section 25 of the Bill of Rights. I'd like to first acknowledge that obviously it will be our way that the amendment failed us, definitely so, because the policy way not and void of a lot of things that are supposed to happen. The support system to the beneficiaries failed us, definitely, and especially considering that it was more focused on farming, and not all of us are interested in farming, but we have other things that can help the economy of South Africa. I'd like to remind the House and our fellow that this apartheid system that has led us to this place was engineered and developed to make sure that a black child loses confidence and dignity in the country that they live in. It was engineered to make sure that we are dependent on the white capitalists. That is why we had to move from one place to where they did for us to be able to develop. And that we are against. We want our own land. We want things to be changed in our own residences. We want development in our residences. We must be able to populate the whole of South Africa without having to pay any boat. Because nobody got that land through paying us. Our forefathers died for those lands. And then subsequently, we want them to because they did not compensate anybody. We have what we call the sunset clauses. That led to the development of this constitution. Because our four leaders wanted to make sure that everybody in South Africa is equitably catered for. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Yes, portions of the land have been given to the beneficiaries, but not in an equitable way. Equitability would be that the majority race of South Africa would equally be owners of the very same land. So, in regressing the, 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 the results of these sunset clauses, I request 
that Section 25.2b be repealed holistically so, because none of the whites acquired the land appropriately so. And even the blacks that have acquired land through corruption, they must also give back so that the state can equitably so give to the people of South Africa in general. The state does have resources and you do have the power. You don't need a FW to tell you what you need to do. The constitution covers you. The constitution protects you to make your decisions. Just ensure that you, get, you guide us in an equitable manner. That is all that we want. That is all that we have promised from the beginning. That South Africa's land belongs to all who live in it. Not just the, the, the minority that have financial backups. Because when you go to the financial institutions and request loans for you to buy land, it costs an amount of day. Subsequently, we even fail to even pass their, their, their conditions that they need to make for, us, for them to give us loans. I would also like section 25, um, okay, number 7, to be amended. Again, there's a speaker that I just said to get it on. The land did not happen in June 1930. Let's all go back. We want it way, way back from the time that can be given to make a right here and took it. So, I'd like you to also address that we are able, we are able to sustain ourselves. Don't make us fear that we will not have food security. We will have it. We want to get the want to the world so that we can so that we can unemploy and uh, graduates that are not employed.
to give us what we want and treat us like humans, we ought to change it. So let's hear from our mama and our dad. Let's take over.
like to plant. Or not only get this in a pagan and all by the people of the day. I've got a small yard where i
uh, have either been agreed to by those affected or decided or approved by the court. And then the new one, which I, I, I submitted to this, says subject to without compensation or no compensation under conditions laid out in the law of general application. I thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, anyone who has a written submission who did not speak, or those that have spoken and did not submit their written submissions, please give them to our parliament staff over there with the name shirt. Thank you very much for everything, Magawu. You are our family. We behave all of us very well. Let's go home safely. Never got an apple.